Hey folks, this is Riker with a sponsored gameplay video of newly released CRPG Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. And in this video, we're just gonna play the game. Talk about some of its features and if at any point you think this game interests you, you want to check it out, then you can follow the link in the description to give it a download. So let's dive in, shall we? New game? Let's go. Gorgeous artwork. For anyone who's not familiar with Pathfinder, so I'm big into tabletop RPGs, and there's two main names out there in the space. Pathfinder is one of them. They're artists. Phenomenal. Love it. So it sounds like in the main story here, we have to harness mythic powers, take command of the Fifth Crusade, and lead it against demon lords that are commanding demonic hordes. There's just something about me and, and slaying demons. Alright, so immensely robust series of difficulty options. Look at that. All the way to unfair. You can even customize specifically. Wow. Very robust. We'll just hit normal. We'll dive in. But as you can see, tons of options here. Wow. So character options here. As we go through, look at these. I haven't played the first game. This is an indirect sequel to Pathfinder Kingmaker, which released in 2018. So if you played that game, then I'm sure you're much more familiar with all this than I am. So we can either select a pre-gen character or create a custom character. We're gonna just take a look at this just to see what the options are, but I'll probably pick a pre-gen just to make this go faster. But I love this deep character customization here. Uh, I think we're just gonna go and, and pick a character at this point. Now this is a party-based game, so you're not picking a character that has to survive by himself is my understanding. You're gonna be part of a party, so you do want that well-rounded party, presumably. You're going to want a healer at some point, you'll want a tank, you'll want a, a rogue. So if we look at some of these characters here, Taolin, Cavalier, oh, they even give difficulties to each of them, so that's nice. So many stats and details here. I think, I, I like rogues in general. What is a slayer? Sorcerer. I think we'll go with the rogue. We'll be little, <laughs> little ricks here. So if you're familiar with the tabletop RPG, there's a lot of familiar elements here, right? Sneak attack, when you're flanking an enemy, you're gonna get your sneak attack bonus. Got your ability scores down here, above average dex, average strength. That's really good constitution, nice, nice. Alright, knowledge arcana, knowledge world. Very, very good. It's looking like there really are robust RPG elements in here, which is, which is what you would expect from a CRPG. Uh, the game is apparently very story driven. Apparently a lot of your choices will have Consequences. Oh, I can still pick a race? That's interesting. Choose a deity, of course. So, Callistra by default here. Picking a deity, picking an alignment, chaotic good, appearance. We'll go with what is no pre-made here. This. And the full-on character sheet, look at that. Look at all of that. I would normally spend <laughs> probably half an hour or more looking at all of these things, but we're gonna dive right in here to some gameplay. Alright, we're in the town square. Seems to be some festival going on. The camera's rotating. I believe that's a new feature. So they improved upon the predecessor. I believe they've added a rotating camera. You can rotate the camera now. The sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you. Grant your mercy. Heal her wounds. The magic envelops you, but your pain lessens only slightly. What do you want to say? Greet, grit your teeth in silence? Yeah. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. I like all the voice acting. I hope this continues throughout. I'll get her! Terendalev! Alright, we jumped ahead a bit here, but we just got rescued, saved by a dragon in the form of a woman named Terendalev. We're looking around here. So again, the story apparently, as we saw a little bit from the from the start, we're gonna be on a path to becoming a a powerful person, a savior of sorts. Well, I guess, depending on if we're good or evil, but we we want to be closing a portal to the Abyss, which is where demons come from, and we got to defeat the Demon Lords, but depending on the story choices we make throughout the game, uh, allegedly that's going to have a an impact on how things play out and uh, the world and the people of it, I guess for better or for worse. Uh oh. Oh, great. 
We're just en enjoying a nice day at the fair, and now this. Oh, introducing the uh, the villain early. That's good. Yeah, now we know. Now we know what we're fighting for. To save the festival. We're getting slaughtered. This is not good. Flame strike. All right. I guess they don't need my help after all. That's the lady who saved us. Lord of locusts, leave my city. Oh dear. Oh, that look. That is cool. Lord of Locusts. So turn into a dragon. Yes, that's Dragon Lady. <gasps> Let the feast well, we're begin. dead. What? Uh, run away. What's the run away button? Oh my goodness. Discard himself. Army. One minute we had a dragon. The next, bam, she was gone. Oh, goodness. Fight or flee. If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here. Fight or flee. Detective mm. spell. I... <laughs> I want to flee, but... Uh, can you lend me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. I, I think I'm going to look for a way out of here. Give me a minute. Let's try to fight the demons. This might be horribly misguided, but... Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow. crossbow. Can I have a plus five vorpal sword, maybe? Oh goodness! A demon lord, even. Uh, Good luck. Try not to get eaten now. I think I think this is gonna be the fastest run of this game ever. I'm about to die. No way. No way. Right? This is a noob trap. Yeah, shoot that guy. Oh my good. Who did that? That wasn't me. A mortal man snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Well, time to roll up a new character. Behold the death I saw. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. The Wait. silver dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Oh. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Oh, I'm... Oh. I didn't hit the wrong option. Okay, that's nice. I am not punished for being a hero. <laughs> So, I'm not sure about this, but it's possible that we could become a dragon at some point. The way we saw, like, those giant badass characters. Because this game has something called Mythic Paths. I know there's Angel, there's Demon, I think there's Gold Dragon. And something about a, a, a walking swarm. So I think we just saw a dragon and a walking swarm. Depending on our choice, that's going to affect not only the story, but also our character build, of course. Oh dear. I think we just met our first party member here. Is she gonna be a ranger or rogue? Hey! Oh. Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? I gotta make a well, skill a check. Hundred, I don't remember my skills. I, I remember I'm good at knowledge days. world. Oh, and it tells us what we have. Okay, good. I don't have to go by memory. So I'm not gonna do athletics. Knowledge world I'm really good at. Evil diplomacy. I don't help anyone for free. Well, if you want to go evil, you can. But I'm going to use my knowledge of the world. We don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try to find something to use as a lever. Well, well, well. Big brain time. I think that's a success. And we got XP from that. Nice. All right, so we just got two party members here. We rescued one. The other one didn't need rescuing. I don't think these are romance options. I know the game has, I believe it's seven romance options. It's not these. We'll likely run into them later in the game. So let's select our full party here. Well, Anivia is not yet selectable. So we have Paladin. She's no a Paladin. Sila. Options. Fighting defensively. Nice. Smite evil. Look at that. The range. Charge. I'm always ready. 
I just realized I picked a male name, a male voice for, <laughs> for Riggs. Alright, let's start going. I think this one will automatically follow us. Yeah. So we want Seal out the front. Because she can tank things. And uh, let's rotate around here. I see some loot. Together, I am concerned about it being a mimic. Look at- oh my goodness, that's amazing. Grab all that. Yes. Oh, but inventory. Equip some of that amazing loot. So if we look at Sila, she has banded mail, and we just found Cloak of Resistance. Let's give that to our main character here. Oh, and you see it equipped automatically. Light crossbow. Give that to her. And Everburning Torch. Nice. Where does that go? Well, no, we'll give that to the Paladin. The rogue needs to be stealthy. This has got to be a sorceress. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Ah, I'm Camellia. This myself. is a romance option. I, I remember this name. This is a romance I was option. I the square when... When... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? All right, Camellia. Join our party. We gotta keep That's moving right. now, though. It would Cure light wounds. Select and target self. Beautiful. Oh, I see some enemies ahead here. Young giant centipede. Can I? I'll take care of it. Can I shoot it? Don't hold back. Save the last. Combat. Here we go. When combat begins, the game is paused. The pause is convenient to give orders to your characters. To pause or unpause the game, press space to order your characters to attack, select them. Right. So my understanding is the game is made to be played with real time with pause, but if you want to go full on turn based, you have the option to change it to full turn based. I know in the CRPG world, people feel strongly about one or the other. My understanding is this game gives you the option, whichever you prefer, you can do. So we can pause here, issue some commands. Let's see, we got Young Giants, Enemy, Young Giants, Enemy. You are going to attack that. Guide my you, blade. no, you will attack that. Wide open. And you will attack Strike. that. Unpause, and it's wonderful. All destroyed. Oh, that's a person. The do gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. All right, so we're looking for a sword of holy flame, some kind of angel sword. If we help them, hopefully they'll help us. We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help Thanks. you. They're not part of our party though, which is a little concerning. Hidden objects. I found oh, something. I already found it. Okay, because of perception, I'm guessing our rogue hopefully has high perception. We should move. Hold on. Hit an object. If the check is successful, moving past an object, right, it becomes highlighted. And then you can... Perception plus seven. That seems pretty darn good. A lot better than Paladin and even better than the Cleric. Cleric should have high wisdom. But yeah, we're just really good. Blue blood. The knight errant. That's cool. All right. Let's get Sila to look at that loot. Well, it's a copper ring. It is not a flaming sword, shockingly. That looks like a flaming sword. Well, is it flaming? It's more like energy infused. I think we found the wrong one. Let's keep moving. We'll keep looking. A strange flash pierces the gloom and Rix feels drops of searing blood run down her chest. The wound healed by Terendalev reopens and weeps scarlet. But there is no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, a cave chamber. This one or another one entirely. Rix's heartbeat quickens, and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into her mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. <gasps> Getting a vision. Treachery. They betrayed me, trapped me, and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect. The people for whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. This doesn't sound familiar to me at all. 
While recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, Rix intuits that she can control them somehow. I'm guessing this has to do with the mythic path that we're on. So apparently the previous game, Pathfinder Kingmaker, was about building up a kingdom. But this one here will be centered around our role as the, the commander of a crusade, I believe. We're going to be recruiting and training soldiers. So I'm trying to think, what's the path by which our, our scurred little thief ends up a commander of the Fifth Crusade? And I'm guessing it has to be something with this mythic path. Will or Arcana? Well, I have better Arcana. Not much, though. But Rix is determined to fight off the illusion, but Rix knows how to resist malign influence. Yeah, 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 let's do that. Succeed it! Oh my goodness, is that guy. Where is your goddess, Angel? Where is her self-assured herald? How is it that you are dying here alone, so far from the light of your heaven? A strange calm envelops the thoughts of the one called Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him, and he knows he will never bow down before this enemy. The flaming sword flares to life in his hand. Bright, pure, flickering with multicolored sparks, like a sunbeam through stained glass. Slash. The blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh, and the monster recoils with a howl, releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rocks. His vitality is ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword, and with his last burst of strength, plunges it into the rock. You will kill me, monster. This I know. But one day, someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will raise it up and... Save and protect the innocent. The vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of colors. Rix does not hear the final words, but she seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from her lips, and with them, something else. The heat blazing in Rix's chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Rix sees the flaming sword in her hand, or rather its outline. The memory of what the sword looked like. With a final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes, and the light is drawn into her hand. Rix senses that it will return. All she need do is call it. Whoa. Cool. So we are now the summoner of the sword, meaning they we can't give the sword to them, hey. so they will have to join our party and serve us, because we are the sword. Alright, so they've joined our party, because they have to. Uh, we want them to take us to their leader. Okay, skill check. Get across mobility. Now, who has the best mobility? I mean, I guess we are all gonna have to do it. I don't know if it's gonna be like a group check or what. Mobility negative six. Not her. Mobility plus eight. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, Mr. What are you? Arch- Zen Archer, Rogue, Paladin, Spirit Hunter. Oh, my bad, it's not a- it's not a cleric. She'll be the healer, but she's a Spirit Hunter. Fighter. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Mongrel. Mongrel, Half-Elf, Human, Gnome. But I'm a Gnome! I'm a Gnome, I'm not a Halfling, my bad. Alright. We're gonna get that across with mobility. Easy. Rolling dice! Yes! <laughs> Alright, we got 27. So we succeeded, yes. Wonderful. We led the group to victory. <gasps> what is this? Wand of Cure Light Wounds. Amazing. Well, I'm gonna hoard this forever. I found oh boy. Yeah, Alright, here we go. Something Engage. Beg me to stop. She's a little hurt. I'll get her to heal herself in a bit. This heals how much? 1d8. Yeah, so I'll uh, hold off on that. Grab that loot. Ooh. Kama. I can give that- well, no, the Zen Archer probably won't want- Ooh, a Master Word Greatsword. And a Light Shield. Pearl. Oh, cutscene. Here we go. Something's happening. You find her boss yet? She wants to have a little private chat, I see. 
All right, interesting. So she does not want me to show that I have this power to her chief. I mean, that's sensible. So it seems we're gonna have to make a choice real soon here. Don't show the chief the light and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface, I swear it. All right, I'm, I'm gonna trust Snake Lady here because I am not gonna prejudge based on appearance. Leaving a location, let's do it. We're about to walk into a, I guess a cutscene here. This is probably the first major story decision. It's gonna affect who stays in our party, probably. All right, we're going straight to see the chief here. Here we go. Yep, Lan wants us to show off the angel's sword. We're gonna make him so embarrassed right now. And Sol, the chief, is having none of this. He don't like this. He doesn't- he's gonna be upset seeing an outlander wielding the light, so... Yikes. Lawful. Oh no! Well, wait, I'm not lawful though. I am chaotic. Lan is mistaken, we didn't find the sword. Sorry. Am I making the right choice? I mean, that, it's good that I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this decision, and that's 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 what you want in a good decision, right? I mean, you don't want it, but you want it. It's good design <laughs> to make the player feel bad like this. Oh, am I gonna regret this? We didn't find the sword. I don't know why you're lying. No doubt you have your reasons, but I know it's a lie and you know it. Tell him, Wendu. Wendu, you better not sell me out, Wendu. I s I saw the light shining between the rocks and then it went out. Okay, okay. Good, good. Why are you doing this? I, I feel like I made the wrong choice here. Oh no. I'm just gonna say nothing. This is between you two. I'm gonna say nothing. Oh. Yep. He's so upset. He he's gone. That's why their classes are so identical, because we're only keeping one of them in the party. Oh, did I make the right choice? I guess there's no right or wrong choice. It's it's just it's story. The story happens. And that's it. Oh man. Bye Lan. Oh, he's so upset. The lesser of two evils is what we picked. Oh, man. Hey, level up. Awesome. It's time to act. <laughs> it's time to act and level up. <laughs> Big voice for a little lady. <laughs> all right, leveling up into rogue some more. Yes, but look at this. Look at all these classes. Alchemist, Arcanist, Barbarian, Bard, Blood Rager, Cavalier, Cleric, Fighter, Hunter, Inquisitor, Kineticist, Magus, Oracle, Ranger, Shaman, Scald, Slayer, Sorcerer, War Priest, Witch, Wizard. And I'm guessing these I don't meet the pre prerequisites for. Monk, Aldori, Sword Lord. My goodness, there's so much. So much customization, man. You can like do so many different playthroughs on this. And it even tells you. So I can multi-class if I wanted to. I'm not gonna multi-class for now. Max rank value we get to put into, uh, well, mobility has served us well. And what else do we use? Perception was really useful. Oh, we've used a bunch of stuff. Hmm. We used mobility. We didn't use trickery or stealth. We used knowledge arcana. We had very little of it. I, I'm gonna, I, you know what? I think we'll find a mage to join our party, so I'm gonna forego that. Knowledge world, though. Might be useful. But we'll take one in mobility. And I think perception for now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get fast stealth. This ability allows the character to move at full speed using the stealth skill without penalty. This way I can just always be stealthed. That makes sense. Fast stealth. Let's go. An evasion. Nice. Alright, and as we move to level up uh, the rest of our party, I think this we're gonna end our playthrough here. A little intro to the game. So again, folks, if... This is the kind of game that interests you if you want to join in and play, if you want to become a leader of, of the crusade, lead a party of adventurers, close the portal to the abyss, defeat demons, become a giant angel or dragon or some kind of, go on some kind of mythic path here, perhaps different from mine. 
Uh, and if you pick a different person to decide with at the start here, tell me, tell me how that turns out. Uh, follow the link in the video description to check out more about the game. Because that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Check out these other videos and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders for more gaming content.